Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn, how can we resize image at the time of uploading, in Laravel 5.8 framework. There are lots of viewers, has requested us to publish, video tutorial on uploading image with resize functionality in Laravel 5 point framework. For this, here we have make this video tutorial, in which we will use image intervention package in Laravel. Intervention image is a image handling, and manipulation library, which we will use in Laravel 5.8 framework, for image resize at the time uploading. Now let's start discussing this topic, so this is our Laravel working folder, here we have make resize controller in controllers folder, and resize.blade.php file, in views folder. First we want to download and install, intervention image package, for this we have go to command prompt, and here we have write composer require intervention slash image command. This command will download, and install intervention image package, in Laravel framework. After download of intervention package, now we have go to resize controller, and here we have write use statement, with image, it will import intervention image class here. Now we have write index method, this is the root method of this class. Under this, we have write return statement with view function, and under this we have write resize, it will load resize.blade.php file in browser. Now we have go to, resize.blade.php file, and here first we want to make form, so here we have write form tag, with method is equal to post. After this, we have write action attribute is equal to, open and close Laravel expression, and between this we have write URL method. And under this, we have write resize slash resize image, it will called resize image method of resize controller, and here we have also write encryption type is equal to multipart form data, this is for uploading file. Under this form, first we have write at the rate csrf expression, it will protect your application from cross-site request forgery attacks. After this, for select image file, here we have write input type is equal to file, in this we have write name attribute is equal to image. For submit form for upload image, here we have write button tag with type is equal to submit, and in button text we have write upload image, it will submit form for upload image. Now we have go to resize controller, and here we have make resize image function, with request as argument. This method will handle image upload and resize request. Under this, first we want to validate form data, so here we have write dollar this, with validate method, it will run validators rules against form data. Under this method, we have first write dollar request variable, from which it will validate form data, in second argument we have write array. With key, image which is file name, and in value we have write validation rules like, required, image, mimes double colon image extension, and maximum with double colon 2048. 
Here required validation rules will check, file tag has select any file, and image rules will check selected file must be an image. MIMES rules will check image extension, must be JPG, PNG, GIF, or SVF, and selected image size must be less than or equal to 2 MB. After validate all validation rules, and there is no any validation found then it will proceed for other code execution, otherwise it will redirect to index method, which load resize.blade.php file, with validation rules. Below this, we have write dollar image variable is equal to, dollar request variable with file method, and under this we have write image, it will store selected file data under this dollar image variable. Now we have write, dollar image name variable is equal to time function with dollar image variable with get client original extension here it will make new image name in which time function will return current time in number of seconds since unix expoke and get client original extension method will return extension of selected file after this, we have write dollar destination path variable is equal to public path method, and under this we have write slash thumbnail. Here public path method will return path to the public folder, which we can see here, and here we have make two folder like images and thumbnail. After this, we have write dollar resize image variable is equal to image class with make method it will initiates an image instance from different input types under this method we have write dollar image variable with get real path method it will return absolute path of the selected image file now we have write dollar resize image variable with resize method this method with resize image to desired width and height in this method there is three argument in first argument width we have write 150 in second argument height we have write 150 and in last argument we have write success callback function under this callback function, we have write dollar constraint variable with aspect ratio method. This method will fixes aspect ration in current constraint. After this, here we have add save method, and under this we have write dollar destination path variable slash dollar image name variable. This save method will save the resize image in thumbnail folder. After saving of resize image, now we want to save original image in images folder. So here we have again write destination path variable is equal to public path method. And under this we have write slash images folder name. Now we have write dollar image variable with move method with two argument like dollar destination path variable and dollar image name variable it will move file to a new location that means it will upload selected file in images folder after uploading of image now we want to redirect page to index method so here we have write return statement with back method this method will redirect url to its previous location now again redirect to index method which will load view file so here we want to send success message and uploaded image name data to view file for this here we have write with method 
with two argument like, success in key argument, and image upload successful in value argument. Same way for send uploaded image name, here we have again write with method, with image name as key, and dollar image name variable as value. Now we have go to resize.blade.php file, so here we have write at the rate if expression, and under condition, we have write count method. And under this method, we have write dollar errors variable, value greater than zero, if any validation error has occur then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write at the rate for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar errors variable with all method, as dollar error variable. For print validation error, here we have write open and close list tag, and between this we have write, open and close Laravel expression, and between this, we have write dollar error variable. For close for each loop, here we have write, at the rate end for each expression. Same way for close, close at the rate if expression, here we have write at the rate end if expression. Now we want to display, uploaded image with success message, so here we have write, at the rate if statement. And under condition, we have write dollar message variable is equal to session class with get method, and under this, we have write success, it will execute if block, if session class, success key has some value. For print success key value, here we have write open and close, Laravel expression, and between this we have write dollar message variable. Now we want to display uploaded image, so here we have write image tag, source attribute is equal to, slash images folder, slash open and close Laravel expression. And between this, we have write session class, with get method, and under this we have write key name image name, it will display image from images folder of public directory. Same way, we want to display resize image from thumbnail directory, so here we have write, image tag, with source is equal to, slash thumbnail folder slash, open and close Laravel expression. Between this, we have write session class, with get method and under this, we have write, key name image name, it will display image from thumbnail folder of public directory. Lastly, we want to close at the rate if expression, so here we have write at the rate end if expression. Now we want to set root of controller method. So, we have go to web.php file, and here we have write root class, with get method, under this in first argument, we have write resize. And in second argument we have write, resize controller at the rate index. It will called index method of resize controller class. Below this, we have write root class, with post method, in first argument we have write, resize slash resize image, and in second argument we have write, resize controller at the rate resize image. It will called resize image method, if in browser resize slash resize image link has been hit, so here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser.
friends, here we have write base URL slash resize, in browser, then on web page we can see simple form, with file tag and upload button, first we have directly click on upload button. After click on upload button, here on web page we can see validation message like, image field is required. So now we have select word file from file tag, and click on upload image button. After click on button, here we can see validation error like, file must be an image, and image type must be JPG, PNG, GIF, or SVG. So, here all validation working properly, now we have select image file from local computer, and click on upload image button. After click on button, here on web page we can see success message, and below success message, we can see two image. First original size image has been fetched from images folder, and resize image has been fetched from thumbnail folder. So, this way we can resize image, at the time of uploading image, in Laravel 5.8 application, by using intervention image package. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.